Okay, I will go ahead and get started and for the orientation today. Uh, I just want to welcome you all to Distance Learning Systems and congratulate you on making the decision to further your education. My name is Laura. I am the Director of Online and I will be uh, going over the new student orientation with you today. Okay, so first welcome. And the first things we will go over first, when you enrolled, you should have received emails to your email probably 40, within 48 hours from when you enrolled. If you have not received those emails, please let us know immediately so that we can get those sent to you. The first email that you will see will look like this. It'll say congratulations and welcome to Distance Learning Systems, and then it will tell you what other emails to expect after this one. Okay, so you have your welcome email, which should be the first email that you received. And then the next one would be from Tech Support, which would be a program to download Lock Lizard, an email to download Lock Lizard. And I will go over this here in just a few minutes on how to download this program. But then this would be the second email you received. And again, this is from Tech Support. Then the third one would have your username and password in the email. It would have what website to go to, your username and password, programs needed to download for the, so you can access everything in your online class, and then the first class that you're registered for. Okay, and then below that there's a few paragraphs kind of of what we expect of you in the online program so that you can, so that you're successful. Okay, so you want to make sure you read all of those so you can see what is expected of you so that you're su successful in this program. Okay, so that would be the third email. Then the next one would just be, again, welcoming you to Distance Learning Systems. And then attached to this email is the welcome packet. And that is a very important piece to look at. It explains everything about Distance Learning Systems. It has cost. Um, it has explains each course uh, and what that course goes over. So that is a very important piece to look at and read. Um, when you first get started. And it will probably answer a lot of quest questions you might have too. Okay. And then after this, the next one you would receive would be from uh, product at DLSII.com. And that will have your academic plan attached along with a transcript request form if you did not send in your transcripts. If you did send in your transcripts, thank you. Uh, Give about 30 days before you hear back from the academic department, letting you know officially what courses you do need uh, to complete this program. And if you have not sent in your transcripts and you do have some, please do, do so as soon as possible so that we can make sure you are taking the correct courses. Because we don't want you to take a course that you don't need. We want to make sure you are taking the courses you do need. So please get those to us as soon as possible. You can fax them to us, you can email them to us, or you can mail them to us. And we do not require official transcripts. So just get them to us as soon as you can if you have some, okay? All right, so again, those are the emails that you need, that you should have received when you enrolled. And again, if you did not receive them, please contact the academic department so that we can get those sent to you. That way you have them, okay? All right. So next what we're going to do is we are actually going to go over on how to download the programs that you need to access everything in your online class. All right. So you can either do this from the email you received or another great way too is once you are logged into the online class, you will see up here, home, contact us, and IT support. And in the IT support, you will see programs needed for online class. You'll have PowerPoint, Adobe Reader, Lock Lizard, and Blackboard Launcher. And all of those programs you will want to make sure are downloaded on your computer because you will be using those as you go through the online class. So the first one we'll do is PowerPoint. And if you do have PowerPoint on your computer, then you obviously do not need to worry about downloading PowerPoint Viewer. If you do not, a PowerPoint Viewer is a free version of PowerPoint offered by Microsoft. So that is what we recommend you download so that you can access all of the PowerPoints. Okay, so then you'll just click on Download PowerPoint Viewer. And then it'll take you to this page. And then you'll just click on Download. Okay, the next page that comes up 
Just make sure that none of these boxes on the left are checked and just click on no thanks and continue. And then your installation should start. If it doesn't, uh, then you can just click where it says click here to start the download, and then it should start downloading. Now, if you are using Google Chrome and you are downloading programs, to complete the downloads, you will have to go to the bottom left. In the bottom left corner, you'll see the green circle covering, getting close to being done. And once that is done, then you will click on that download to complete it. Okay. All right, so then you'll just click that you accept the terms and then continue. And then you'll click on next and install. Okay. And then you'll see Microsoft has completed successfully. And when you see that, then you know that you downloaded PowerPoint Viewer and it is on your computer. So then you can just click OK. And then we'll hit the back button and then we'll, we'll go back to the online class so that we can start the next download for the next program, which would be Adobe Reader. Now you will need Adobe Reader so that you can view the PDF documents in your online class. Okay. Now when you get to this page, right here in the middle offer where it says optional offer, download McAfee security, please make sure that you do uncheck that because we have seen that McAfee uh, does cause issues as far as uh, for the videos to be able to play properly. Uh, we, do, we have seen that it does block it completely, so um, just make sure you do uncheck that. That way nothing changes on your computer. Okay, then you'll click Install Now. And while that's uh, installing, uh, another what we recommend for the web browsers is Google Chrome and Firefox. So you want to make sure that you are using either one of those web browsers as you go in through the online class, okay? Because we found Internet Explorer or any of the other web browsers that do cause issues of the online class not working properly. So please make sure that you do use Google Chrome or Firefox. Okay, and once you click on Finish, uh, then Adobe Reader is downloaded on your computer and you should be able to view PDF documents. Okay, now the next one is Lock Lizard and again you would have received this in your email to download. So what we'll do is we'll go back to the email from Tech Support and this is what the email should look like. Okay, or if you did not get this, then you might have got sent another type of instructions on how to download Lock Lizard. Okay, so what you would do if you have this version right here is you'll see Operating System, and then you'll choose the operating system you want to download the Lock Lizard on. Now you can download Lock Lizard on any iPad or iPhone and any Android device. So you can view your tutorials on your phone, on your tablet, and on your computer. Okay. So we're using a Windows system, so I'll click on Windows. And then when this page comes up, I will scroll down until I see this box, and I will click on Windows EXE. And then you'll want to click on Run. And if you ever get a box popping up that asks you if you want to make these changes to your computer, go ahead and allow it. That way the program continues to download. Okay, none of the programs that we ask you to download are going to harm your computer. And they are all free, so you should not have to pay for anything. If you do come to a site that is asking you for money, please contact us so that we can make sure you do get to the right, right website and you download the right program. Okay, then you'll just keep on clicking Next until you see Install. Okay, and then once this box pops up, just make sure you uncheck the product manual box, and then you'll click on Finish. 
And that means that you have downloaded Lock Lizard to your computer, but you still need to do one more step, which is registering your license. And so you will go back to the email, and you will notice two attachments. The first one is .llb, and the other one is .zip. You will want to click on the .llb attachment. And when it asks you to open or save, you're going to click on open. And once you click open, a box should pop up a few seconds later saying, congratulations, you have registered with the publisher. And that means that you have registered your license and you should be able to view your tutorials for your class. Okay? So that is how you download Lock Lizard. And then the last one would be Blackboard Launcher. Uh, Blackboard Launcher is used so that you can view the videos for your class. The videos as of right now are only viewable on laptops or desktops. They are not viewable on tablets or phones. So if you try to download Blackboard Launcher on your phone or tablet, it will not work. Okay, so just remember the videos for right now are only viewable on laptops and desktops. We are working on getting them available on mobile devices. Okay. So, and you'll want to notice too with Blackboard Launcher, if you have a Mac computer, then you will click on the Mac download. If you have the Windows or the computer, then you'll click on the Windows download, okay? And then again, in the bottom left corner, you'll see it downloading. And then once it is done downloading, you will then click on that box so that the download completes. Okay, and then you'll click on Run, then you'll click Next, Next, Install. And then once you click Finish, then you know, then Blackboard Launcher should be on your program and you should be able to view the videos for your class. Okay, and I will show you that when you log into your online course, or when you log into your profile, there's a class that you can go to to make sure all of the programs do work properly on your computer. Okay, so those are all the programs needed for the online class. And again, they are free, and this is a great way to make sure that you do go to the correct sites by when you log in, go to IT support, programs needed for online class, and these will take you to all the correct sites to make sure you do download the correct program. Okay, and another great thing, if you do not have Firefox or Google Chrome, you can again go to IT support, go to recommended web browsers, and it will take you to the correct website to download Firefox or Google Chrome. All right, and then you have contact us. So if you do need to contact us, here are all the ways to do that. And then you have your home page. Okay, so when you log in, this is what you will notice. This will be your home page. Okay, you'll have live chat, which if you click on the picture, it will take you to live chat. I'll show you. Okay. And we do have live chat 24 hours Monday through Friday. And so if you ever do need tech support, you can either live chat or call in the number uh, Monday through Friday, 24 hours, uh, and somebody should be available to help you. All right. And then you'll notice the online department hours uh, to talk to an academic advisor. It's from 8 to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. So if you do need to talk to an academic advisor, uh, just make sure you call within that time, or you can even email us and we'll get right back to you within 24 hours. Okay. And as you scroll down, you'll notice my courses. 
And the first courses that you see are just complimentary courses that we offer to you uh, to help you go through the program with ease. Okay, so the first one will be new student orientation. And this is the class I was telling you about that where you can test all of the programs to make sure that they do all work properly on your computer. And you'll notice the first thing in this class is the welcome pack as well. So if you do not read the welcome packet in your email that you got when you enrolled, you can go to this class to look at it and read the information. All right, so you'll go down a program seated for online class, and you'll notice Adobe Reader, PowerPoint, Lock Lizard, and Blackboard Launcher. So what you'll do is, uh, let's say we want to test out Blackboard Launcher to make sure I can view the videos. So you will click on the link right here that says click here to see if you are able to view the videos. And then you will have to type in your name and email. And this is the exact steps that you will do as well when you do try to, when you view, if you have to view a recorded video. Okay, so when this comes up, then you know that you are able to view videos with no problem. So when you go into your first class, you should be able to access the video with no issue. Okay, so then you can just close out of that. And then let's say you want to make sure your lock lizard works. So then you'll click on the link that says click here to be able to view your tutorial. Okay, now some of you might get this error. It doesn't happen very often, but if it does happen to you, it's a very easy fix, and all you have to do is close the OneNote. So what you will do to do that is you'll go to Control-Alt-Delete on your keyboard, and then you'll want to click on the Start Task Manager. When the Task Manager comes up, you will go to the Processes tab, and then you'll look for the OneNote.exe, and it's right here. So once you find it, you'll click on it, and then you'll click on End Process, and you will confirm that you do want to end the process. Once you end the process, you will then just click OK on the error, and then your tutorial should pop up. So if you see this, then you know that you can be your tutorials for all of your classes. Okay. So again, that's a great way to make sure that all the programs work on your computer before you start your class. Um, and if they don't and you have trouble downloading any of the programs or getting them to work properly, please contact us as soon as possible so that we can make sure that everything works properly before your class starts. Okay, so that's the new student orientation class. And it's just a great class to go to before you get started in your class to make sure everything's working properly and and you know what is expected of you as you begin your studies. Now the next one is class schedules. This class is a class that you will want to go to when you're ready to register for your next class. We automatically register you for your first one, but when it's time for your second one, then it will be up to you to register. Now, if you do have questions on what class is best for you to start next, uh, definitely contact us and we will put you on the right track of what we think would be the best class, the next best class for you to start. Okay, and right here, the very first box in that class is very important to pay attention to because it has what order to take your courses. We, we obviously recommend you finish your gen eds first and then you move on to your nursing. And when you get to your nursing, you will have to remember that you have to complete the 100 level courses first before you move on to the 200 level. And it shows you right here which ones are 100 and then which ones are 200. And before you start any of the nursing courses, you do have to pass your a and Micro first. Okay, so if you just need a and Micro, then you have to make sure you pass those first before you move on to the nursing. Okay. So that's a great 
thing to look at so that you can see kind of when you need to take your courses. All right, and as you scroll down, there's a video on how to register for classes online, which we will go over here later. Uh, but if you do not remember after this video, you can always go to this class and watch the short video of how to register for classes online. Okay. And then below that, you will notice the schedules all the way up until June. And so let's say, so you can kind of get a schedule together. So you can see what starts all the way up until June. And when you open up a schedule, it will have all the classes we have starting that specific month. It will have the start date, the end date, and the date you can register for it online. Okay, and then it will also have the day of the video and the time of the video. Okay, so when you're ready to register for your next class, uh, you will want to go to the class schedules course and just kind of see, look at the schedules and see what we have starting. Right. So the next one after class schedules, you'll see helpful study tips for exams. This is a great course to go to before you take an exam and even after you take an exam. Uh, what this is, is this is an open forum for each course and it's clients that have taken the exams have gone in here and put helpful study tips for other clients that have not to help them pass the exam. So when, before you take an exam, it's great to go in here and see what other clients have to say about that specific exam. And after you pass the exam, uh, we ask that you go in there and help and put helpful study tips for other clients, okay? And it's just a great way for you all to help each other out and be successful, to be successful in the program. All right? And then you have the nursing supplements and the general education supplements. And both of these classes are laid out the exact same. And the, the, it's just extra material for each of the nursing courses for you to look at. And then for the gen ed supplements, it's extra material for each of the gen ed courses for you to look at. So if you feel you just need extra material to look at to prepare for the exam, the supplement classes are the best thing to go to. And then after that, you have your testing site information. This is also a very important class that you will want to go to when you're ready to take your exam because this will tell you how to register for each type of exam. The first one is an Excelsior exam, and it has how to contact Excelsior, what courses are Excelsior exams, and where to find the closest Excelsior exam site. Okay? This is very important because you do not want to take the wrong type of exam. So everything that you see in this Excelsior box, the Gen Edge courses, the nursing courses, those are all Excelsior exams. So when you're ready to take one of those exams, then you know you will have to do the, the steps to register for an Excelsior exam. Okay? And then as you scroll down, you'll see Dante's exams. Those are the Dante's exams. So if you're taking one of those classes, then you know you need to go down to the Dante's box and see what I need to do to register for a Dante's exam. And then the last one is CLEP exam. Those are the courses for CLEP exams. So if you're taking Intro to Sociology or Humanities or Biology, then you know that you need to scroll down to CLEP and see how to register for a CLEP exam. Okay? You want to make sure you pay close attention to this because you do not want to take the wrong exam because if you do, you might not get credit for it. Okay? And you will be out the money that you paid to take that exam. All right, and this information is in the front of your tutorials. It's in the classes, and it's here in testing site information, so you want to make sure that you pay close attention to that. Okay. So those are all the complimentary courses that we offer that we give to you when you enroll, uh, just to help you go through the program with ease. Okay. So after that, if you have access to your course already, uh, which you will get the Friday before it starts, so if your class starts next week, then you will get access to it this Friday by 5 p.m. Okay, and that will show up right underneath. It'll be the very last course under my courses. All right, and when you click on it, you'll click on the title, and it will tell you welcome to whatever class you're starting. Okay, and as you scroll down, you will see the introduction of the class. You will see a tutorial, and then click here to access your tutorial. 
which is required reading, and this is the book for the class. You will want to make sure you access your tutorial for every class you're in because that is your main study guide for the class. That is like your textbook for the class. Okay? And then this is what you need Lock Lizard for so that you can open it up. And when it opens up, this is what you'll see. You'll see the cover. And right here, the second page says, Attention, read me. This is preparation material for an Excelsior exam. So it's telling you what type of exam you're preparing for. So if you need to know how to register for that specific type of exam, you will then go back to the testing site information class to see how to do that. And it is also, the information is also on, the same, on this page as well. Okay. And then you can just go through the pages. You can print any page out that you want to. You can search through the pages if you have a specific word that you need to look for. You can type it in and it will take you to every page that word is on. Uh, you can print out the whole tutorial if you want to. Uh, we also have the hard copies, sell the hard copies of the tutorials for $35 and $45. So if you don't want to print it out yourself, but you do want a hard copy, you can just call the academic department and then we can take the order for you and we'll get that shipped out to you. Okay, and it does come down like a book. And then as you scroll down, you'll notice another an important notification that says you must get a 95% on the quizzes in order to move on to the next one. This is the rule for all of your classes. You have to get a 95% or above on the quizzes in order to move on to the next quiz. If you do not get a 95% or above, you can retake it until you do get that 95% or above. But we feel if you get a 95% or above on the quizzes, then that tells us that you are prepared enough to take the actual exam, okay? So please remember that as you go through, if you're taking a quiz and the next one doesn't open, then you want to look at your score and see if you did get a 95%. Okay, and as you scroll down, you'll see the week one. You'll see material for week one. You'll see when the live video lecture will be. And remember, um, all the times for the videos are Eastern Standard Time. So if you are in a different time zone, you will want to make sure you know the difference. That way you don't miss any part of your class. Okay? And then the link for the video will be right here. To, if you're viewing the live video, it will say click here to view live video, and you will click on that link to attend the live class. If you have to view the recorded video, which is perfectly fine, uh, then you will click on the link that says click here to view week one recorded video. Okay? You do not have to view the live lectures. And we understand everybody works, so if you have to view the recordings, that is perfectly fine. And if you do have questions after you view the recorded video, you can always email your instructor the questions you have, and they'll get back with you within 24 to 48 hours. Okay? And then below that, you'll see the PowerPoints that the instructor will be going over. You can also print those out as well. Uh, we do have a lot of clients that do print them out so that they can write notes on them as the instructor goes over each one. So those are the PowerPoints. And then you'll have your weekly quiz, which again, you do have to get a 95% on in order to move to the next one. Okay. And then at the end of every week, we have a forum uh, just for you to post questions about the material gone over in that week, or if you have any concerns about the material that week, anything that has to do with the material for that specific week, you can type in that form. The other students in that class can see what you type, and they can help answer any questions you have as well. And the, the instructor will also be active in that form to answer any questions that any students might have. And then the next week uh, will not be available until the Friday before it starts. So, uh, so if you're starting this week two has already happened this week, so week three will not be available until the next Friday, until the Friday before it starts, okay? And that is for all of the classes. Whatever class you're starting, it won't be available until the Friday before it starts, okay? Now, as you go through the class, um, in the very last week, there will be a practice exam to see how well you got all of the information. And we ask that if you get an 85% or higher, then that tells us that you are prepared to take the actual exam. If you get below that, then we ask that you look at the areas you didn't do so well in and go back and, and restudy that material, okay? 
And if you do need help from an academic advisor, definitely give us a call or go to our live chat uh, so that we can make sure you are prepared to take that exam. You also, from the very last day of class, have a 10-day grace period to review everything. Okay, so from that last day of class, you have 10 days from that day to review all the material in that class. And then after those 10 days, the class will be removed. If you do need more time to study the material for that class, please contact the academic department. And what we will do is put you in what we call our open classes. The open classes are exactly like the class you're in. They have the recorded videos, the quizzes, the material, the PowerPoint. Everything that you need to pass that exam will be in that open class. Okay, and that is like our review class. So if you need more time, just ask for the open class and we will place you in there. And then you will have access to that class until you are ready to take the exam. Okay. Now, once your class is over and you are ready to register for your next class, you do not have to take the exam for your first class before you can register for your next class. So if, if you want to study for your exam and you want to get ready to start your next class, that's perfectly fine. Or if you want to wait till you take your exam before you register for your next class, that is also fine. Okay. So that is what a class looks like. And that they're all pretty much laid out the same, so you should get very familiar with how to work the online program pretty quickly. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to register for your next class online. So what you'll do is when you're ready to register for your next class, you will see a programs box on the left under your profile, and you will also see the classes under those that programs box that you need to complete in order to finish the program. And remember, you will want to remember the order of which classes need to be taken before you register for a class. So you don't accidentally register for a class that you can't take an exam for. So let's say I passed my microbiology, so I want to register for N104. Actually, I'm already registered for that class, so let's see. I want to register for N109. Now, the 100-level nursing courses, you do not have to take in any specific order. You can take in any order because they do not play off of each other. Okay? You just have to finish all of them before you start your 200-level. Okay, so as I'm looking for the N109, um, there's, you will notice page numbers at the very bottom. And you will also notice on the ID numbers, some of them say 2008, 2009, and you will want to pay attention to that because you don't want to enroll in a class that happened in 2008. So as you go through the page numbers, you will then see more, then you'll see the future dates. Okay? So you'll just keep going through the page numbers until you see a date that you won't want to take that class. So let's say I want to take N109 starting April 9th. So what I do is I'll click Enroll. And then say, are you sure you want to enroll in this class? And you'll click yes. And then right here, it'll show me I am enrolled in that class. Okay. And if you click more next to it, it'll say the start date and the end date. All right. So if you ever forget when your class started, you can always go back. And then it will tell you right there what class you're enrolled in, because all of the other ones will say unavailable, and when you come to the one that you're enrolled in, it will say enrolled. Okay, so that's how you register for a class online. And again, if you don't remember how to do this when it does come time, there is a video, a step-by-step -step video in the class schedules, where you can also contact academics and we can help you get that, we can help you register for your class. Okay, so that is pretty much how you navigate through the online. Um, and a few things more about the program, depending on what degree you're getting, uh, there will be a certain time if you're going through the Excelsior program, there will be a certain time that you do have to enroll with Excelsior, and that time is when you start your nursing courses. When you start your first nursing course, that is when you want to start the enrollment process with Excelsior, because you will not be able to take any of your nursing exams until you've passed a and Micro and until you're enrolled with Excelsior. Okay, the enrollment with Excelsior takes about three to four weeks, just depending on how much information they need from you. 
and each nursing class is six to seven weeks. So you want to make sure that you start the enrollment process in enough time to when your class is done, you can take the exam. Okay? When that time comes to enroll in Excelsior, if you need help with doing that, you can contact the academic department and we will give you those step by step instructions on how to get that done. Okay? Um, if you are going through another program and you are getting your degree from a different college, and just contact the academic department to see what you need to do to get enrolled in that school, what the process is to get enrolled in that school, and we'll send you the step-by-step -step instructions to get enrolled in that in the college that you're going to get your degree from. Okay. That is it for the orientation. Um, if you have any questions, I will be logged in until 5 o'clock to answer any questions. Um, if you have any questions after you get logged into your profile, definitely contact the academics department so we can make sure that you start off on the right foot. Okay? Um, and that is it. So thank you all for joining me today on the orientation. Again, if you have any questions, I will be logged in until 5 o'clock. Or you can also contact the academic department at a later time, and we will answer any questions you have. Okay, so good luck as you go through your program, and don't hesitate to contact us if there's anything we can help you with.